your host, Roger Welch. And I'm Michelle Welch, and I am so happy tonight we have with us Fatima. Hi. Hello. <laughs> so glad that you are here. We met Fatima at, at INATS. INATS this year. In Denver. INATS is the International New Age Trade Show, for those of you who don't mm -hmm. know. And it's um, a pretty cool combination of all kinds of things. like Everything from like product to services to... Uh, anything metaphysical you could possibly kind of want. Yeah. Is, is that how I would say it, maybe? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, and lots of cool energy running around the place. And Fatima. <laughs> and so, I mean, <laughs> you can't miss her. She's beautiful. And so Laura Pace was there with us, and Erica was there, and we just all fell in love with her immediately. So I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about her. It's Fatima Mboj. A beautiful name. And Fatima <laughs> is a renowned international intuitive reader and certified energy healer who comes from a multi-generational lineage of intuitive mystics. Over the past 16 years, she has traveled the world channeling messages through readings and healings to help people create the life they desire, helping them gain, gain clarity, direction, and a deeper connection within themselves and to the universal flow of unconditional love and manifestation. She currently resides in New Orleans. Is it New Orleans or New Orleans? So they say New Orleans. New like Orleans. that's the way they say it. No. I like to say New Orleans. Like when I go New out Orleans. to the other parts of the world, I'm like, I live in New Orleans because that's actually like how, how it's spelled. Okay. <laughs> but if you say that in New Orleans, they'll correct you. Ah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to say she's from Louisiana. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I can't she's from New Orleans, Louisiana. The so yeah. I, we're so glad to have you here. Thank Thanks you. for coming. Thank you for having me. Yeah, thank oh you. my gosh. So, yes, we did meet um, Fatima at the International New, New Age Trade Show. That's a yeah. mouthful. That's why so. we say INATS. INATS. Yeah. Yeah. Make it easy. INATS. INATS. And was it your first time to go to that show? It was my very first time. Well, see, here's the deal with you. <laughs> you, it your, was your first time to go, but you went as this huge success already. Yeah. Like, you're a go-getter, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I went and I was like, okay, this is what it's going to be. This is what I want to walk away with in regards to networking, in regards to awareness of the deck and people, um, and it all happened. It, it, it all happened. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, if, can we see this, you guys? This is the deck. I don't know if I need to hold it up, but it's a beautiful deck, and we do have it. I'm Vanna Whiting it here. <laughs> the new, it's the New Orleans. I'm going to say it wrong now. Yes. New Orleans. New oh. Orleans. New Orleans. New Orleans. Oracle deck. deck. Yes. And it is by Fatima. And the artwork is by Lori Felix. Yes. Yes. Yes, absolutely. Yes. So this is her deck, and we do have it here at the store. And at the end of the show, we are going to be reading from, you will get some readings from Fatima. We'll do what we call sure. lightning round re readings if we have time for that. Sure. And so tell us a little bit about your deck, what inspired it and a little bit about it. So what's so interesting is that I was on uh, Thanksgiving holiday here <laughs> and I woke up one morning and literally spirit was just like, create an oracle card deck the name is the new orleans oracle deck and immediately I, I started getting all of the card like what the names of the cards were supposed to be and i wrote them all down and it was a process essentially over about a year and a half of mm -hmm. just channeling the information and the reason why it's an oracle deck instead of tarot is because we're essentially in a place where it's time for people to become more comfortable with going within for their answers, going within for connection. And so while it's good to have people like you and me and whomever to come to you for guidance, the goal is that we already have the answers anyway within, and this assists in that. So not only does it help with the divine connection between yourself and that, but also having more comfort with yourself in a very practical way of, it's not usually like, will I get the job or will I get the guy or the girl? It's usually you want these things because you feel like it will lead to a sense of fulfillment or a sense of worth. So the purpose of the deck is to get you to the core of what's going on and what you're wanting to feel or what you're not feeling with very direct messages like, hey, do this. This is what's going on. And you'll notice you end up in a flow, an accurate flow of what you need to do to get yourself to the connection or the flow or the answers that you kind of want to move forward for whatever you want to manifest. Right, I love that. You know, somebody came in the other day and while we were in Denver and Erica had me on the phone for something else and she just said, Michelle, which deck do you recommend 
for clarity. You know, and this is kind of a question I hadn't really asked. Uh, crystals, yeah, they, you know, I'll go, okay, well, these crystals for clarity, but which deck for clarity? And I yes. said, Oracle or Tarot, and, and they said, Oracle. And I said, your deck, just out of huh. my, it came out of my mouth. I said, your, the name of your deck. I said, Fatima's deck for clarity. So would you agree with that? I would totally agree with that. And also to the New Orleans inspiration, because if, if you've been there, New Orleans very mu- is very much about be whoever you are and it's fine mm-hmm. and acceptance. And the goal is the more that you have self-acceptance, the better your experience in life is going to be. And so New Orleans is so much of that, that that's why it was like, oh yeah, go with this. The reality, the acceptance, the beauty and the nitty gritty, it's all fine, mm-hmm. whatever it is. And that's really where the influence came from. So as you go through the deck with different cards and you see, you'd be like, oh, that totally makes sense, especially specifically around the ones that are from the city. Right. Yeah. So which one is from the city that specifically that would be your, oh, well, here's one, gratitude. Oh, okay. So the gratitude card um, with the second line ban. So in New Orleans, you'll get a second line ban because you woke up because somebody died, because you got married, uh, because you're happy or sad. <laughs> and the point is, it's just celebration. And, you know, the attitude of gratitude really mm-hmm. will get you everything. So I felt like, let's use the second line band. Let's get the energy of what you feel when you're in it. And it's perfect for that card. So oh, um, I like that one. And also share your gifts, mm-hmm. which is in there. Um, that's and that's Jackson Square. Oh, yes. Uh, yes. Jackson Square. Yeah. That's where everybody shares their gifts. They do. So you can get a reading. You can get a painting. You can get food sometimes and it's Finesse. all about sharing yes yes right and it's yeah. all about sharing you your know gifts. the back side we got back <laughs> touchdown jesus that's right that we side. had to look yes. for, for forever for uh, touchdown jesus Do you it's on the back no we didn't he did dakota I dakota say, did dakota. Yes. you told me not to say dakota to okay i said it. <laughs> oh wait that was something else do these need to be turned this way or the other way for the camera i always forget this way okay that's fine all right, I just want to make sure people can see these beautiful cards. Mm-hmm. So, yes, I love it there. Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah. Yes, yeah. In, that, in the mm-hmm. square. And I remember Touchdown Jesus. Yes, and you know what? Depending on if it's not Touchdown Jesus, some people say it looks like Jesus with horns. Yeah. <laughs> ah. So it just depends on what, how you want to see it. Yeah. So which card gave you any, uh, like, trouble? Did any card, did you struggle with any of the cards? Step back. <laughs> I just saw that one. Let's see. Okay. There we go. Uh-huh. Which, you look at it, and it's, like, really simple. It's a lady standing by the ocean. Mm-hmm. But I feel like, literally, when you pull this card, it's probably because you need to step back, mm-hmm. and you're all in it. You're really proactive, and maybe you don't need to be. You need to step back. So, um because I came up with what all the images need to be and then was trying to like describe it and find examples for my illustrator. And with this one, I think we did it three, four times. Mm. Yes, yes, just to come up with probably one of the most simple cards of the deck. But I love it. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Yeah. And the ocean, I'm an ocean girl. So I was like, right. oh, yes, you breathe easy, you're clear near the ocean. Yeah. So well, did you have one of the cards in there that it, you more resonate with more than the others? You know, kind of like some artists will stick themselves in the cards. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh, duality. Duality? Duality is one of them, and the nature card. Hmm. Well, y'all can keep talking while I'm yes. just on it. Um, <laughs> the duality card, it's about being in acceptance of how multifaceted you are and that mm-hmm. you, you're you not just one thing and that even if it's polar opposites, it's okay and to leave room for yourself to be everything that you are. And I... I tend to be that way. So I was like, oh, I like it. And I really like bright and fiery, and I really love Mm -hmm. the moon and the ocean, so I love that card. Yeah, that's a beautiful card. Um, And the nature, because every chance I get, I've noticed the healing effects that nature has by just being in it without trying, and it's so beautiful. Like, that's probably part of my favorite artwork in the deck because it's, I look at it, I feel a breath of fresh air, I feel magic. Yeah, it is magical. I've noticed yeah. that too because since you know we met on Facebook and yes. all, and I do, I see you a lot. You you know just got back from St. Lucia. Yeah, and, you know you're you're out. Yeah, you, you're not like a homebody. You're outgoing outside. Yes, you're in nature. Yes, I, I like anywhere I can find nature. I you'll find me there somewhere between nature and a party. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, party in nature. Yeah. Yes, I like that. So what is that? So the city inspired it. Yes. 
but what else inspired it? Have, have you already touched on that, or is there anything else you want to say? So the other thing that inspired it, too, is that I've, I've been doing readings probably for 17 years. Mm -hmm. But when I went to New Orleans, where I literally just ended up there because I wanted to be there as I kind of, you know, I was moving to Florida, stopped to New Orleans, almost didn't leave. What happened was that it really supported me in coming into my own. Um, I was, I did my readings, but also I was in corporate America. And my contract ended the month I moved to New Orleans. Uh -huh. And it was like, oh, do you go back to Dallas? Because I'd actually lived here for 11 years and find something and work from home and do your thing. And it was like, no, you continue to do readings. It will. This is what you're supposed to do, or at least be dealing with people and helping them heal. So I did. And in the first month of doing that, it was better and as good as corporate and it's mm -hmm. just gone on ever since then so New Orleans is a place that if you're willing to step into whatever your truth is and you're willing to just be whoever you are you will flourish in your growth whether and, it, and growth isn't just like oh spiritual growth or career growth it's whatever the growth is that you need and since my truth and what I've noticed for so many people I've met that are transplants there mm -hmm. New Orleans is a catalyst to connect yourself to yourself if you allow it mm -hmm. And, it, and so that's what the deck is for. Love it. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> um, the Let Loose card is what came up for you. And this is Mardi Gras. Just, I don't know how well you can see it. Um, and so, of course, when we hear Mardi Gras, we think of, okay, party, great time, all of this. Um, when this card comes up, and specifically for you, in order for you to find your next step and your inspiration, the recommendation is you need to find it through Echoes of Fulfillment. OK, mm -hmm. um, there's been a little bit of uh, like maybe, again, overthinking and seriousness. And the message for you is you're going to find the right way by finding your inspiration through letting loose and enjoying yourself. It's going to be like laying little pebbles to the direction that you need to go. So give yourself the permission to do so. Um, many times it's about doing something that it's like, oh, there's no point to that. I'm just doing it. Well, the point is that you like it and you're having fun and it raises your vibration to then attract and manifest what you want. So go have fun, enjoy, and again, that's the Let Loose card. That one. Actually, Fatima, how about sure. you pull one card for us to just give us something to leave with? Would you do that Absolutely. for us? Okay. From your beautiful deck. All right. Ah, <laughs> so the card that came up was the Dreams card. OK, mm. um, I'm not surprised this came up just because <clears throat> the veil seems to be becoming much thinner right now um, and a lot of awareness, a lot of potential energetic downloads. And so what this is about is this is about paying attention not only when you're sleeping, when you're meditating, but to the the different messages that spirit will want to give you. Now, I'm going to piggyback on this to where literally this is dreams. Yes, pay attention to your dreams when you're sleeping. Okay, fine. But the other part of this is there's so many signs that we get throughout the day. Oh, something you heard on the radio. Oh, something you see as confirmation on the billboard. I kind of feel like this message is, Things are transcending beyond when we're sleeping, beyond when we're getting a reading. And it really seems like it's time to just trust and pay attention to the penny you found on the floor, to hearing someone mention something you were thinking about earlier, wondering if you should do. Um, and so this card for everyone, it's it, at this time, it's the dreams card, but it's more like trust and believe because the more at this point you're thinking you can do it and you can feel it, have you noticed things are happening faster? Um, and so, yeah. Yes. So even though it's a dreams card, and yes, pay attention to your dreams, the message that I just got around it was, at this point, if you can envision it, it's likely happening somewhere. So focus on what you want to bring it more and manifest into what it is you mm, want. It's beautiful. You know, one thing I've noticed about you throughout our time tonight together is that you, one of the things I really like to say is through readings, I believe readings are healings. Yes, I do And too. not everybody says that. They'll, they'll really talk differently between readings and healings mm -hmm. I think readings are, can are very I, often a vehicle for healings yes and and I just wanted to bring I meant to bring that up earlier but thank you for that because yeah. I think a lot of people need to hear that and know uh -huh. to do do you know what I'm talking about? I, I totally agree with you. And actually, I think that that is what a reading is for. Mm -hmm. Even when people don't realize, they're like, oh, just tell me, am I going to get the job? Will I get the job? Yeah. It's like, well, 
whatever is in you that's connecting to that, let's let spirit source determine what's for your highest good, give you the information that you need to know. And when you come out of a reading, you should feel a sense of peace, even if it's not what you wanted to hear exactly. because it is healing. I, I agree. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank yeah. you so much for being on thank with us. Thank you guys. We look forward to seeing you.